Joining me now is Andrew Pollard, President and CEO at Black Rock Silver. Last time we saw you was at V-Rex, so good to see you again. My goodness, what a difference nine months make, huh? Incredible. Look at us. We still look <laughs> yeah, the same, yeah, of course. Yeah. But uh, uh, there is a big difference because so much has happened with your company. You've got the PEA out now on Tonopah West, and it really confirms what you've been saying. And this is one of the highest grade, lowest cost primary silver projects in the world. So give us some of the, the highlights here. People are finally starting to get it. Yeah. You know, four years ago, we made our discovery uh, and here we are. We just put out, uh, well, we've put out three technical reports in the span of four years, all culminating in this PEA, establishing it as one of the highest margin projects in the world. It'll be 8.6 million silver equivalent ounces. That's four to five million silver ounces per year, 55,000 ounces of gold over an eight year mine life. but with a cash cost all in of 11.96 an ounce. So super, super high margin. And that's because of the grade. You know, our head grade at 570 grams per ton is easily the highest head grade project of any silver developer uh, globally right now. And, you know, because of that grade and the straightforward metallurgy, um, it lends itself to just really, really uh, robust economics. You know, the PEA looking at a two to one MPV to CapEx and an after-tax IRR of 40%. And that was done at a base case of $23 silver and 1900 gold. Well, things have gotten a lot higher since then. So, um, you know, you're going to see that ratchet up significantly. Right, conservative projections. Yeah, based well, we, on today's numbers. We, we put an upside projection in there at 2280 gold and 2760 silver. And at that, our after-tax IRR went up to about 55% and MPV5 of uh, just under half a billion dollars. So highly levered to the price on the upside. And because of the grade, it's not all that sensitive to downside costs either. I mean, this is a project that should make money in any pricing environment, but obviously you want to realize higher prices. Now the team is in the midst of a 20,000 meter drilling program. You're busy converting uh, inferred resources into measured and indicated, and you're you're targeting a certain vein system to the northwest. So can you explain that? Yeah, well, yeah, that's our, we've got a, a 50 drill hole program underway right now, and that's just from you know we started in July, and that that'll be done by the end of the year, and it's two prong focus. One is the um, PEA outlined a 2.3 year payback. So what we're gonna be doing is we're using that mine plan to drill out through the first three years of projected um, production. So we wanna de-risk all of those ounces. And just yesterday we put out our first results from that program and not only did we establish really high grade continuity amongst um, uh, uh, this conversion program, but we hit a new structure actually closer to surface, our highest grade intercept ever at the project, over 8.5 kilos, wow. silver equivalent. Um, uh, so we've got a new structure that will means we'll likely be able to start mining even earlier, um, which should help to blow out the economics and bring down that payback as well. The other thing we're doing is, you know, we don't just want to be converting ounces, we want to be adding new ounces. And, you know, even though it sounds like we've got some new tons we'll be adding on that, the new ounces we expect to add, we've got one kilometers of vein corridor that we've yet to drill out. And it's bookended with mineralization on both sides. So what we're gonna be doing is just drilling and putting some widely spaced holes um, throughout that kilometer. We think by this time next year, we've got potential to add another 30 to 50% more ounces just on that expansion drilling. So one, convert the inferred to M&I, de-risk the project through the, um, through the payback period, which is off to one hell of a start. And then the other is, let's take our mine life from eight years to you know beyond 10. We think we can get, if we're successful, maybe 12 or 13 years, uh, God willing. So uh, it's gonna be an active um, time on the drills, but well through the end of the year, uh, Eric Sprott gave us $5 million right after we put out our PEA in September. So we'll use that money to keep the drills there early into next year as well. And we'll just keep adding drill holes as targets emerge uh, based on the success of the expansion holes we've, we've got underway right now. So Eric Sprott now owns about 15% of the company non-diluted. And, and you've said something interesting that uh, Sprott's investment keeps the hedge funds and short sellers off your back. What do you mean by that? Well, for sure. I mean, listen, if people think you need to raise money, they'll, 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 they'll hurt you. They'll pound you in the ground and short you into oblivion. Um, our 20,000 meter program is already bought and paid for. So this $5 million allows us to show the market that we're cashed up and we don't need any of the predators coming and forcing us down. Um, it's giving us a lot of run rate and it allows us to just focus on deploying the capital, investing it, because that's what shareholders want is to, to see the, a return on investment. And, you know, based off of, you know, our plan this year, it's unfolding as, as anticipated. We knew that the first six, seven months of the year would be quiet, but we're doing the hard yards behind the scenes 
uh, allowing the consultants, the engineers, the geologists, the metallurgists to, to wrap their head around what sort of a project this can be. And then now we're deploying capital in the drilling. And, you know, August we were 22 cents. You know, today we're 44 cents on big news. So, and, you know, relative to my peers, you know, I'm trading at half the ounce in the ground valuation of the other high grade stories. We're higher grade. We've just shown the economic potential. And as drilling comes in a constant drumbeat of news over the next six months, I think relative to our peers, we should be amongst one of the, the, the best performers to close things out. Right. Even with the stock move, you say you're still undervalued on various metrics. We're 70 cents an ounce in the ground right now. I mean, you've got uh, two of their high grade stories are about 140 an ounce in the ground. Um, so that's a big gap to close. On a PNAV basis, we're 0.2. Um, you know, other PEA stage projects are 0 0.5, 0 0.6 in the silver space. So, you know, we're 2x to, to catch up with our peers. And that's just if everyone stays equal on the ounce in the ground, 2x, 2.5x on a PNAV basis. Any which way you cut the cookie, we're undervalued. But, you know, we've, people can understand the drilling we're doing right now. It's not just, we're not putting out random intercepts in space. Every intercept we're putting out tells a story. One. We're tying together the high grade and de-risking ounces here. And the other is we're adding not just ounces, but mine life. And it's very straightforward. So people can follow along in real time. Right. So uh, post PEA at Tonopah West, post Sprott Investment, post Beaver Creek, where I understand there's a pretty good buzz for the company. Uh, is the market starting to get it a little bit more? Yeah, volume's picked up. Uh, you know, we've gone up 40, 50% in the last uh, month and a half or so. I mean, yeah, as I said, in August, we were 22 cents. And, you know, he just couldn't scream it loud enough. But of course, when you want to scream it, people don't want to listen. And now when you said, I told you so, they say, oh, it's too late. Well, listen, by every metric in the industry right now, just based off peers, we're undervalued. We're RM and I drilling. We're drilling into a structure that our PEA outlines. Well, you'll be mining something there in the early years in a stope that's closer to a one kilogram per ton head grade. There's nothing like that in the industry right now. And that's what we're drilling into. So high grade results expected. Uh, um, and hopefully we're successful on our expansion holes and those should be the next coming down the pipe is a handful of expansion poles to show the potential to add more mine life. So, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, well, it, uh, the other thing is it's also the rising tide effect. So, you know, 70 cents an ounce in the ground, some of our peers a dollar forty. There was a time not too long ago before the rate hikes took in where high grade ounces were trading for two fifty. Um, now they're 140 or less. Well, rising tide effect, everyone's gonna move, but still we've got a much larger gap to go. So you know you wanna go, you wanna skate to where the puck is going. And I think the, the, from a directionality point of view, we're starting to head in that direction. Thanks for the update and keep it going. We'll be following. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrew. Andrew Pollard, President and CEO at BlackRock Silver.